Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is an abstract game made by Lewis and Daniel Machado, and it's called Dose. Dose is for two players, ages nine and up, and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to play. This is an abstract game in which you're going to be using dice, placement, and strategy, including tactics, while you play die and uh, change the orientation on how you want to place them. You're trying to score four die in a row of a certain number. Now, of course, you can also do some other little uh, interesting things where you can use an opponent die for the fourth die and you can also score whether it be diagonal up down left or right you'll also be getting additional little different kinds of things like this little token here or this little cube that can block your opponent's movements that you can place uh in addition to your turn, including a normal die. And then, of course, the scoreboard. You'll be using a little grid tracker, and you're going to be trying to place down as best as you can, and you want to win as fast as you can as well. There's a variety of different ways to score points at the end of the round, but in order to score points, you must win. Anyway, that's the basic idea of the game. Let's go down below, and I can show you the components and help you make sense of what I'm explaining. So here you have the game Dose and everything included, and as you can see, you're going to be getting a grid-like structure, which is going to be a 5x5. Five five. You're going to get two sets of die, one for each player, and then you're also going to get a blank die or a blocker. These little pieces here are what are going to be put on top of your die, which is going to be the last die that you placed, and so it keeps track of that and it also involves certain aspects in the rules. You're going to get a score tracker for your colors here, so if you were uh, 51 points, you'd put one on the 50, one on the 1, and you get for one player and, of course, for another player, and you can play different rounds throughout the game, so you're going to increase the score up to whatever you want, basically. This is the rule book for the game, and of course, course the box and pretty much everything you get in the game all right let's come up and I'll explain how a turn works and how we're going to be putting these guys into this board here to win the game so to begin a game of dose you're going to simply be taking all of your die including a blocker you'll be taking this little uh, see-through shit here and then you're going to set your point tracker at zero the youngest player is going to get to go first and on your turn you're simply going to take one of your die arrange it in whatever to whatever number you want one through six and place it on the board anywhere you want as well after you do that you're going to take your little chit and place it on top of your die because that was the last die you placed. After that, your opponent is going to get a chance to play. They'll place their little die on the board. You can never place adjacent to the last die played. And on your turn, you're also able to utilize your blocker on the board, uh, but you can only utilize one. And after that, that is it. You're trying to get four uh, dice in a row that equal 12. And also, if you don't happen to have four, but you have three, and your opponent has one, if that also equals 12, you can win the game as well, which I'll explain down below to make more sense. You're trying to win as fast as possible, and you want to score with all of your dice, and uh, have as many blank spaces left on the board, and if you don't use your red, die, your red die, or your blank die here, you'll score even more additional points. You'll add up your points at the end of the round, provided that you won, and then you go ahead and play again, alternating between the players. Once you get to a certain uh, point allocation, whether it be 50 points or 100 points, that will end the game of Dose, and then you can simply go ahead and play again if you want. Anyway, let's go ahead and take you down below, and I'll show you a couple of turns of the game, so you'll get an idea of how to play it. So here we are back to the game Dose, and it's set up for two players, and as you can see, there is the white over here and the black over here. We don't need the rules or the box, so we'll move those aside. We went ahead and set up for uh, the black and the white player to have zero points, and then of course the tracker here. First, you'll start off with a player, usually the youngest player will go first, and they will take one of the dies and they will place it in any um, space that they want along with whatever number they want, one through six. When they put it on the board, they're then going to select their marker and cover that die up. That's going to represent the space that they last played, as well as the fact that nobody can play adjacent to the spaces in which this die is specifically played. So when this player goes to place their piece, because it's now their turn, they can go ahead and place a die on the board, and as long as it's not adjacent to this die, he can be played. So once it is placed here, he will also place his token on there. When this token is placed here, that means neither player can place near either die that has a token on it. So these spaces here are blocked, and so are these here by both of these die. So this player is now going to go ahead and select another side, and once again try and select. Now they're trying to get four in a row of 12, of 12 points, and they can go ahead and utilize their opponent's die, provided it is at the end of their row. Uh, so he'll go ahead and place here, because it's not so it's not connected to any of these. And then we're going to go ahead and move this piece from the 3 over to this 5 here. Now it's the next player's turn, and once again we will continue. So for instance, this player here may want to go ahead and select... Mm, let's go ahead and select this space here with a 4 
and then he will go ahead and move this piece here. And the game is just gonna continue like that. It's pretty simple. Another interesting thing to note is that these can be played on your turn as a free action to block a space in which your opponent can normally place down. And of course it can ignore the rules regarding the basic die placement. Now in order to win the game, I could simply go ahead and place right here. This is a four, five and four, which is nine, 10, 11 and 12. So in this case, no die can be placed here either anyway, just to win the, uh, to win the game uh, regardless. So placing that four, that was a good idea for black. Back. So this player here is going to have to try and select another way to win the game. So we'll go ahead and place a one right here, moving this die over here. And the next player is going to go ahead and once again select another space. Perhaps he'll pick this one here, placing this over here, and continuing just like that. Hmm, which way does white want to go now? White will go ahead and select uh, this four over here and place this over here. And now it's Black's turn now. Black realizes now that this space can win White the game. It's got four, five, six, seven, and an eight here. However, uh, Black can't play in these spaces here. So because of that, uh, Black is gonna go ahead and use his uh, red piece right there and block that space off and then continue his turn by placing a die somewhere. Perhaps he'll place it right here and simply putting this over here. Back to White's turn now. White has lost the ability for that space to be played in, uh, but he can go ahead and select another space if he wants. And mm, he's probably gonna go ahead and select this one over here and he'll put a two right there. Putting that like that. Putting Black back in the uh, the defender's zone. As you can see, we have five, six, seven, and eight. And Black can only block one of these spaces off. So if Black wanted to, he could put it right here. And which blocks this side off, but on white's turn, white can go ahead and say 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, putting this 4 right here, and thusly winning the round. When you win a round, you're going to go ahead and tally the points up based on uh, how many spaces are left that have not been utilized, so one point for each of these. If you didn't use this block here, you'll gain 5 points, and you'll lose 2 points if you have 3 of the same number of the of die on the board here. There's also a couple other ways you're going to gain points. And you're going to go ahead and move up the track, so let's say that yellow or white got uh, 12 points, white would simply go uh, to the 10 here, and then take his other one and put it on the 2 there. After that would happen, you go ahead and take off all of these things, and you start another round you can continue playing the game. And that's the basic idea of it. Like I said before though, uh, you can win if you have three die in a row uh, with an opponent. So this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So if there's a black die here that was a one, that would equate to a win for white and the same would go for black. However, you would not win if it looked like this. So if black was in either of these two spots, it can only happen in the end. And it can also happen uh, horizontally. So this wouldn't be a win, but this right there would would be a win for white. And that's the basic idea of the game. Dosi play multiple rounds up to a certain amount of points, whether it be 50 or even 100 points, and uh, that is how you play the game. So let's come up and I will tell you what I think about the game and any final different notes I want to add. All right, so let's talk about Dose and whether I have any caveats. I think the only one I have is you're gonna gain more points in the game by having less spaces filled in. You'll gain more points by not utilizing the red marker, as well as you're gonna gain more points by having all four of your die as opposed to your opponent's die. There is a scoring system over here that shows you exactly how you're gonna score the points. You want to be careful not to use too many of the same type of uh, pips on a singular die. Uh, three of them is gonna get you minus two for each of those. But that's the basic idea, right? When I first, so this is actually a retake, and the reason why it's a retake and why I already have the video up and it's now up again is because I missed an important and interesting rule. It was a very simple one, but it made a big difference. And that rule is that when you place your little red marker on your die here, you cannot place around it, right? I said that but you can't place regardless of if it's yours or your opponent's. So any of the dies that are marked on the board that have one of these red markers on it, you can't place adjacent, including your own. So you can't instantly just go ahead and make four in a row because you're going to be blocked by your own die, which changes it up quite a bit. Now, I will say the same things I said previously, which whether you watch the video or not, the components of the game are rather nice. I am excited to see what it's going to look like at the, in the end because there are a couple of things like this scoreboard here and the, 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 
the, the board here, which could be probably a little nicer, I suppose, as well as some of the chits for the, the uh, scoring. However, overall, it's rather nice. I like the quality, I like the feel of the dice. I like placing the die, so it's nice. Uh, there's not a huge amount of artwork, and there's not a huge amount of theme in this game, so if you're looking for theme and artwork, this is not the game for you. It's also an abstract strategy game. It's two players, so if you're looking for a larger multiplayer game, also not a thing for you. And uh, as far as the uh, placement goes, it's going to feel rather similar to games like Checkers and Chess, uh, but probably a little more strategy than chess than checkers probably a little less than chess and of course the idea is placing down to score four in a row it reminds me of a connect four but it's a more deep tactical strategical game involving placing your die on this grid here uh as we played this game the first previous times i really enjoyed how it was played it was nice but once i added that additional rule in it became even nicer so actually the uh the previous review was slightly wrong only uh, in the fact that this is actually even more engaging and more fun because now you can actually, instead of placing them straight up in a row, uh, you have to actually account for where you're placing and where your opponent is placing. And of course the red marker to block off dies is rather nice as well. It gives you the ability to protect yourself from a wrong move or to set yourself up for a later turn. It's also still nice the fact that you can have additional rounds throughout the game in which you can continue to get score more and more points and you can choose whatever amount of points a set is best for you. Overall, it's a very nice strategical game that actually has a quite a lot more thought in it than I originally anticipated it to have. My cameraman even playing with us as well, the second time around where we learned the rules, he said that it was even better than before as well. Overall, I'm giving this a high, uh, high review. I really enjoyed this game. If you're looking for a deep, strategical two-player game that's quick and easy to learn, like I said, there's only, the rulebook's only like four pages, so it's rather easy and really quick to learn, I would highly suggest checking out Dose. It's fun. I enjoyed every moment of it, and especially as I continue to play the game, I start to see how more tactical you can get as you continue to play. And in fact, actually, once my cameraman noticed, noticed the other rule, he said the only problem he had with the game previously was the fact that you could kind of place in a row but now you can't even do that so he even likes it more in fact he was stomping me over the last couple games so during him but yes overall dose super fun nice abstract game if you like abstract games definitely check this out my seal of approval one of the best abstract games i've played this year Thank you guys for watching another unfiltered gamer board game review. If you're interested in checking out more of our videos, go ahead and do so on uh, YouTube right now, as well as checking our website, unfilteredgamer.com. We have a lot of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. And don't forget to check out the game Dose, a really fun little abstract game for those abstract players. If you're not an abstract player, it's probably not going to entice you. But for those of you who like that two-player back-and-forth uh, strategy, you're going to enjoy this game. Also, go ahead and check out our friends, everythingboardgames.com and the Giveaway Geek, giving away a couple good games right now, as well as my own site. We're giving away two right now, one of them being Utter Nonsense, another one being the uh, How Game Are You, and we'll likely be giving away Reich Busters if everything goes well this week. That's all I got for you this time, and as always, guys, I look forward to playing some dice with you next time.